Everyday Church family, it's Pastor Dan here, and to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel. Merry Christmas. It is only a few days until Christmas, so uh, I greet you uh, with a Merry Christmas, and I greet you with the joy that this season brings. Now, last week I spoke about joy, and, and I want to draw to another uh, section here uh, about this great joy. When the birth of Jesus uh, does finally come in, in Luke chapter 2, now we hear about this great joy. You know, in, as Jesus was being formed in Mary's womb, there was a leap for joy, as we heard last week. And this season, it talks about, this, this week, it talks about great joy. So let me draw you to Luke chapter 2, from verses 9. It says, An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all other people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. Great joy. I love this passage is, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy in the people. The good news that the angels were bringing to these shepherds was that Jesus, the Saviour, has been born. The time of Jesus, the time of salvation, and salvation so easily accessible is here. And in fact, what will cause great joy is the work of what Jesus will do. The salvation work that Jesus did. It wasn't the fact that a baby had been born. I'm sure that night many babies uh, across uh, Judea and, and that nation was born. Across the world many babies would have been born that very night. But it's this one that will make an eternal difference. It's this one by what Jesus is about to do in his 33 years of life. It's what he's about to do that will cause great joy. And it's causing us great joy now as we actually follow him. That is, as the angel said, glory to God in the highest heaven on whom his favor rests. We have chosen and we have fallen in God's favour by deciding to follow Him. And it's caused us great joy because we follow Him. Our favour and the favour of God rests upon us. We have been able to openly accept the gospel of Jesus, openly accept this good news, and it should cause you great joy. And that great joy shouldn't stay with you. That great joy needs to be spread. And that's why this Christmas, can I encourage you uh, to share the great joy that Jesus has given you with someone else this season. Even if it's just one person, be able to share that good news and the great joy and what God has done for you this year. Let me pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your great joy. Lord, uh, we thank you for this good news that has caused us great joy. This is a good cause, Lord. It is a great our effect of what your son has done. Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, during this Christmas, I pray that as we share about this great joy with someone, Lord, you would bless that conversation. Lord, may it be fruitful and cause a multiplication of disciples. Amen. Now keep walking with God. Keep listening to him. And as you have those conversations, allow God to speak into that situation. Be praying for that conversation. And that is one great way that you can bless others. We'll see you soon.